In part one, I forged a lawnmower blade just like this one without any grinding into this sword blank. With the grinding wheel on my angle grinder, I clean up the bevels, making sure that they're nice and smooth and even. Once everything looks good and the bevels are nice and established, I take it to the flap sanding wheel just to clean everything up in preparation for heat treat. Once the blade looks nice and smooth, I look it over, make sure that the grinds are fairly even, that everything's straight, there's not a lot of waviness. And then I take it to my torch, heat it up to critical, and then quench in oil. And once I pull it out of the quench, I can see that there's hardened areas in the blade. It didn't go fully all the way, and it's not as even as I'd like it, but for a first attempt, I'm happy with it. After cleaning it up, I put it in my oven at 400 degrees for about an hour or until it gets a nice straw color. You can see it has a nice golden color to it. With a smaller torch, I heat up the spine of the blade and also the handle so that I can soften it up to remove any brittleness. Once the blade's cooled, I drill some handle holes and then clean everything up with a wire brush just to remove all the scale and make the blade nice and clean. I then take it back to the sanding wheel and put my final finish on the blade. Then I start working on my handle scales and I'm using curly maple for these. After cutting out the handle scales I drill holes with the tang and then actually draw an outline so that I can work on both scales independently of the handle. That way I'm not scratching up the handle which we've worked so hard to keep a nice forged finish on. Once the handle scales match the profile of the blade I take them to my belt sander and just rough them in making sure that I've got all the contours I want. And then I use sandpaper by hand to finish up both handle scales. Once everything looks good, I use a two-part epoxy and apply it to both sides of the handles and pin it together with mild steel pins. I clamp everything together and let it fully cure. Once the scales are cured, I cut off the pins clean them over with a hammer, and then grind them flush. I then apply potassium permanganate to the handle, which will darken it and actually artificially age the wood. Once it's dried, I take steel wool and I buff the surface just to bring out the nice grain and smooth it out. I apply a little bit of wax, and the sword is finished. Here it is, all finished up. I hope you enjoyed building this along with me today. And I had a lot of fun just trying this out and seeing where it went. And it turned out to be more of like a sword than a machete. But here it is. If you have any suggestions for other builds you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. If you like this project, you can check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written several books on different topics, and you can check those out in the links below. So as always, thanks for watching, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.